is a boost in your future. Health Canada has given the green light to COVID-19 booster shots Tuesday. But all this comes as international health agencies are asking to hold off. All right, I'll get you to hold that for a minute. Third dose is already in the arms of many Canadians, focusing on higher risk populations, seniors in congregate living, the immunocompromised, or those who had AstraZeneca and plan to travel where only mRNA vaccines are recognized. But Canadian politicians now faced with a moral dilemma. Health Canada has approved Pfizer vaccine for booster doses for all adults six months after their initial two vaccines. But should we wait to triple vax the general public? Most countries with high vaccine coverage continue to ignore our call for a global moratorium on boosters at the expense of health workers and vulnerable groups. The World Health Organization pleading with richer countries to wait until more of the global population has had access to vaccines. When there are many countries who have barely even scratched the surface in terms of vaccines, and there are actually countries where they haven't even started vaccinating healthcare workers, and you'll have people who are working from home in Canada getting a third dose. Lorianne Hardcastle is an expert in health law. She says Health Canada's approval is purely scientific, and it will be up to more local health authorities and politicians to decide, like Ontario already positioning for general public boosters in the new year. Governments have, a, have an instinct to protect their own citizens, um, but apart from the, the ethical imperative to make sure that other countries are getting vaccines, there is also this, this issue of um, the, the pandemic not being as effectively stamped out uh, where there is such inequitable distribution of, of vaccines. Scientists say new variants are more likely to develop in parts of the world with low vaccine coverage. And right now, the National Advisory Committee on Immunization is only recommending boosters for higher risk populations, saying there is no evidence of waning protection over time against severe COVID-19 in the general public. In Edmonton, Carly Robinson, City News.